October 13th back out at the farm Peyton and I going out again it's definitely cooler today about 57 56 degrees it's gonna get a little chillier too so maybe that'll bring these deer out to the field a little quicker he's gonna be in a stand that overlooks like an oak flat so maybe they'll come down to some acorns and feed on them and I'm gonna probably be on the edge of a field again. See if we can get something tagged out. southwest west southwest wind I got a swamp behind me wide open so I can shoot anything that comes through there and I got a just a green field out in front of me um, I can see bits and pieces of it so you know anything out to about 40 to 50 yards I can probably shoot so hopefully the colder weather will bring these deer out a little bit sooner Peyton's over in uh, another spot um, over acorns so you know they could go to that too I've heard a lot of things from people about hitting the acorns this year so if you got falling acorns get a stand over it um, so we'll, we'll sit and wait and see Quarter after five, that's four does now that came behind me. All of them were about 60 to 80 yards away, so, but I think I see what they're doing. They're going around this field through the swamp, up through the woods over here, and coming out in this green field at the top. So. I'm about to come up with another game plan soon. We got a lot of stands on the edges of these fields and they're just going around everything. So we need to get some uh, we need to get some crops in this field is what we need. Some type of
like alfalfa or soybean or something, but it'll have to be next year. We still got about an hour and 45 minutes, so you never know. She's down. Oh, no, I know. I held. She's no more than 20 yards. I held right there on the money spot. And she must have ducked a little bit because it got her a little bit high. I think got her in the back just a tad. But she's down. <sighs> One tag field. Peyton had some opportunities over there. But uh, the buck he saw was small. Go some other deer over there. Whew. Whew, man, they were back here for so long. I didn't think they were ever gonna come up. I wish she would have came up on top of this little ledge. It would have been an even easier shot, but she stayed down on that hillside. I'd have to get another shot in her, let's see. Well, you never, you never wanted to go like that. I'm not sure what happened. I have to look at the, the footage, but I mean, I put it right down. 
right down in the lower part where the heart is. Maybe the angle she was on. Uh, and, you know, I'm sure she ducked a little bit. But it caught a little higher than that. So, you know, maybe I just was off a little bit. But I'm going to get down, meet up with Peyton. And we'll come down and get her. On the board. Comes the cavalry. Got her done. Chairman of the Safety Council. My gosh. So, uh, so they were they were the whole time. Oh, she did. Somebody tried to drag her. She's down over this hill. Oh, okay. But I was up in a stand, and they they're like through that swamp. Like those and the little ones, big ones, whatever, a bunch of them. And so eventually, I, I heard them down here, and they come, most of them come up right behind me. I couldn't get the camera and I couldn't get a shot. And then some of them came out, so I kept waiting, man. Like, I, kept, I drew back like two different times and she didn't come up. And then the third time I drew, she came right on that incline. And it's steeper than I thought, so maybe she was down. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know. Maybe she dropped a little bit too, but because as soon as I let go, she went like that and hit her, and she just went down. And, and so she was down there, and I, I was like, I'm getting down, and I just put one in her, and she was done after that. But yep, she definitely did. What's that? Yep, she definitely did. She gone. Yep, on the board. Mm-hmm. Have my good old buddies down here to come <laughs> carry her out. She's about 20 yards, but the first shot was a little high. Um, so I had to unfortunately get down and put another one in her, but she went quickly after that. So it's not how you want it, but it, it's how it is. But on the board, Peyton's up next. All right. <laughs> so after we got home and settled, I, uh, I just couldn't get it out of my head on what happened with this shot. I mean, I arranged the tree. The tree was 19, so she was probably about 21 yards. And, you know, I got this new bow. I mean, been spot on all summer. I just didn't get it. So I came home, just decided to look over my bow real quick. And the first thing I wanted to look at was my uh, Fast Eddie Spot Hog. Um, turn dial sight it's the first year i've been running one of these and i thought oh this is going to be great but <laughs> something that you definitely got to check on every time is is the dial on what you want now i don't know why the dial why the dial is where it is but this is what i saw So it's not going to focus very well, but the green mark right here, the green mark right up at the top is 20. And that top purple pin should be right with the 20. And that is your top pin on your sight. So with this being up higher, this would have raised the pin up of just a bit. And that could have been just enough, just enough to, you know, cause the shot to go high. I, ultimately it's my fault like I have not no one to blame I'm not blaming the bow it's me I should have checked it before I shot um, but at least it gave me a little peace of mind to know that you know I'm not a horrible shot at 20 yards for goodness sake uh, so I, it's something I'm gonna be checking and double check your dials every time and you know that's hunting you hunt and you learn if you like the video please Click that thumb, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.